Also breaking news, two out of the four teens all charged in connection to an alleged hazing incident resulting in assault charges last week at the Clyde Savannah School District. Now those teens, uh, two of them in court this morning for their first proceedings. Isabel Garcia in the courtroom in Lyons earlier today. She's now joining us live in the studio explaining what happens next. Isabel. Yes, good morning, Mikhail, and good afternoon. Today, the case was on for what's called a six-day review. It was a quick court hearing today as the courts are figuring out whether or not this will be kept in what's called youth part, which falls under county court, or if it will be adjudicated to family court where records would remain sealed. According to investigators, a 14-year-old was assaulted in the men's locker room at the school, and his parent became aware of the recording. A 17-year-old, 15-year-old, and 16-year-old were indicted on charges of first-degree felony aggravation sexual assault uh, abuse, first degree hazing and forcible touching. Another 16 year old boy was indicted on two counts of unlawful surveillance. Now, according to the defense today, there were multiple videos of the alleged incident. Defense attorney Michael Shiano says they just received all discovery materials just as of last night. We did also learn today the boys are on the football team. I'm also told they have not been in school since the alleged incident and are awaiting suspension hearings within the district. I've also reached out to the district as well to confirm this too. Under the Raise the Age statute, there's specific qualifying factors for a case that would require it to stay in the youth part. Uh, based on the review of the case as well as the statute, uh, those factors aren't uh, in existence for this case. So I requested an adjournment for a 30-day motion to argue uh, extraordinary circumstances to keep this case in front of Judge Healy in the youth part. The age of the, of the uh, individuals clearly is the main reason to keep this in family court. Uh, they're all you know teenagers at this point. The law basically dictates that it should stay in family court uh, uh, absent extraordinary circumstances. So basically they have to prove that and show that and we're going to oppose that. And these two teens appearing today will be back in court on Wednesday, December 6th at 3.30 p.m. for a decision as to how the court will move forward. The other two teens charged are set to have another court date tomorrow morning at 9.30. For now, back to you at the desk. All right, thank you, Isabel. Tonight, the Clyde Savannah School District's Board of Education meeting will be at 7. And Wednesday night, it was originally going to be held November 8th, but had to be postponed at the request of law enforcement. News 8 has now reached out to the Clyde Police Department if there will be any further precautions taken ahead of tonight's meeting. We will, of course, try to be in attendance for full coverage, so stay with us.